Hello. Hi, hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, good evening. Hi there, good evening. How are you doing tonight? Fine, teacher, we are fine. <laughs> really? Can you yes. hear me, guys? Can you hold? I, I'm sorry, but my internet, my internet connection has been working very slow um, today. So I'm just making sure that you can hear me. You can all hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, all right. There you go. There you go. Hey, how you doing, guys? Tell me about it. How you doing? Welcome to the class. It's great to see you back. Um, definitely. I hope you had um, a very productive and maybe relaxing weekend. Um, if you could tell me a little bit shortly so we can get started. Welcome. Let's start with the ladies, Miss Jolanda. Hello. Well, uh, my weekend was okay. Uh, I work uh, on Saturday and I, uh, I don't know, rest uh, during the uh, Sunday. It's good. It was good, teacher. All right. Because all right. The, the, this week is very hard. <laughs> I know. I know. So you needed to recharge some energy to be ready for this week, huh? Yes. Welcome, Jolanda. Hello, Monica Mungia. How are you doing? Welcome to your English session. Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing fine. Really? I'm excited because it's the end of Monday. It was a great, <laughs> <laughs> a stressful day for me because today you start my training in my work. So, yeah, I'll be a little. Um, emotion I'd be a little excited at the same time maybe frustrated because I want to be in the same light like with my co-workers so I want to you know try to understand try to learn as much as I can but it's something that I need to practice so yeah I feel today excited I feel really really realized because you know it's my first time since two years that I've been working because I becoming as a mom the motherhood everything like that so I feel so blessed I share I share your that feelings Miss Monica yeah I know Breaking because up. I've been working from home I've been the host so hi teacher Okay, okay. The last part you were breaking up, but I totally feel what you're going through. We definitely wish you the best on your training. I think a training is, it's a great time for learning new things, for learning new programs, for learning new processes. And well, it's, it's, I wish you the best, all right? Welcome, Ms. Monica. And let me welcome to the gentleman. Here we have the honor to have Mr. Dagoberto Rodriguez. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Uh, uh, I can to, to be here in the last class. The, First class and second class, uh, I have a um, hard work that days, uh, but uh, I'm here now. Uh, I'm uh, with expectative for this class. I'm glad to hear that, Dagoberto. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you too. This is your first class. I understand you had to work the previous classes and well, we have to do what we have to do, right? At work, if it's necessary, we have to do it. So no worries, no worries. And I'm glad, I'm glad now you are available. You are coming to class. So I'm very glad to have you around here. Nice to meet you. My name is Kalev, by the way. And let's welcome now Mr. Ra Rafael. How you doing, Ralph? Hi, good evening, fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing pretty good, healthy, which is number one nowadays, yes. you know? 
healthy. Yeah. It's 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 great to be healthy nowadays. Many people cannot say the same. So I feel I feel great. Thank you for asking. How you doing? Everything okay? How was the weekend? Yes, everything okay. Yes, it was fine. All right, good to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. All right, let me say welcome to Irvin. Del Cid. Good evening, teacher. It's nice to see you again. What's going on with you, Irvin? Uh, just practicing and studying and working on the platform. Absolutely, absolutely. So you're very busy, huh? Yeah, because if you don't practice, um, there, there's going to be a problem because um, you have to keep practicing if you want to learn. That's true. That's true. So that matches with that saying. It says, if you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. Okay. I agree with you. I agree with you. And do you have uh, other ways to practice? Like, do you have people to practice with? Or this is the only way for you to practice your English? Um, for the moment, I don't have uh, people to practice with. But what I do is to um, to watch some videos or movies in English with subtitles and sometimes without subtitles. And, and I think that that is very important to be surrounded by an English environment because it will allow you to understand and you will have the opportunity to develop your uh, listening and speaking skills. I second your thought. Okay. So if you guys can practice, you know, during the days, uh, you have a lot of classmates here. You, um, you all need to practice, practice makes perfect. So let's take advantage of this class. I'm glad to hear that you're someone that, you know, re it's really interested on, on getting better, on improving. And that's great, that's great, Urban. Okay, let me say welcome to Elvis, Elvis Avrigo. Hello, sir, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Elvis Abrego. Um, nice to meet you now. It's great to meet you. This is your first class, isn't it? Yes, yes. Because I I, <clears throat> I have to work last week in the night. All right, all right. So, you, so we have more money. No, it's free. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, nice to meet you, Elvis. I'm happy that you're finally here, as well as Dagoberto, uh, whose first class is today. Um, let's see. Let's say welcome to Monica. Monica, we have Monica, Naomi, Naomi, Jesenia. Are you there? Hi, Naomi. How are you doing? Um, I'm sleeping in this moment. <laughs> you're sleeping? Yeah, I'm very tired. Oh, you're sleepy. You're yeah. sleepy. You feel like, <gasps> like tired. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, don't be. In this hour, you have to be up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. I promise you. Okay, I'm going to help you. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep you up. Then okay. 9 p.m. after that, go for <laughs> it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a great, it's great pleasure to have you here, Naomi. I'm very happy to be able to practice with you all. So let me welcome to the rest of you because everyone is special around here, right? Let's say welcome to Daniel Castro. How you doing, Daniel? Hey, um, everything is doing well. Uh, regarding to you were talking about the, the weekend. Yes. I enjoy time with my family. Uh, on Saturday with some brothers, and yesterday uh, with my 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 father and uh, with some brothers, some making um, cooking uh, just to enjoy a lunch. Uh, so a you had like a gathering, like a family reunion. You like that? Yes. 
Awesome. That sounds like a very, very intensive, very nice weekend for you. You deserve it. I'm happy to hear you had a good time. Hey, thank you. All right. Who else do we have around here? Did I say hello to Sofia? Did I say hello to you? Hello. All right. Hi, Sofia. How are Hi. you doing? Hi. What's happy. new? Always happy. Always happy? You had a good weekend? I had a good weekend. You had a With good day today? Monday is the hottest homework. day. <laughs> right? A lot of homework. <laughs> a lot of homework, yeah. I understand. I understand. But that will get to you a benefit very soon. All right. Let's get started. Yes, let's get started, people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share the screen. As you know, uh, we need to move on on your platform we'll see the um, two clauses right so we'll watch a video and then we can have a talk about it all the things that you're neutral about let me play it once once again here we go hello everyone in this class you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes and you'll also learn how to express neutral things. You can watch and so you can watch you an and listen, right? What I'm talking. Yes. About. Okay, cool. So let's say, for example, you yes. want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So, let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn, or that we should become familiar with, is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so, let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as, I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as, I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as, I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like, so I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when, this is the situation, um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is, when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say, this could be, now, the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you, this could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here, so I could easily say, I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could 
change the verb, I can change something else there. I can say I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say I don't mind it. All right. Okay. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation, and you might say, "I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment." And that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences. Um, again, you could be neutral about the whole situation. You could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it. So you could like it. Or you could love it. Um, and um, at the same time, something could make you upset, right? Um, the examples that I gave earlier were I. So let me follow the structure here, right? So I'm going to say I like it when. Friends give me gifts for my birthday. Okay, so this is something that I like. So I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when friends forget about my birthday. Um, it doesn't bother me when friends arrive late to a party. Now, what I would like for you to do is to think about all the things that you like and all the things that you don't like and all the things that you're neutral about. All right. So let's start with the easy part. Let's start with the easy part. Let's start with the things that you like. Uh, can you please uh, tell things that you like? And can you try to use our clauses? It clause plus the when clause. Can you give ideas? Can you give your personal, um, you know, information about things that you enjoy, things that you like? Who wants to give it a try? Do we have a volunteer? Can we talk about birthdays? You wanna you wanna talk about that topic? Or in general? Uh -huh. I Go ahead. like it when my friends wish me a happy birthday in my day. So you like it, you like it when they play the mañanitas very early on your birthday? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's the best part in the day. All right, all right. Thank you, Noemi. That matches. Thank you. Somebody else? In my case, I like it when, when my friends invite me to a coffee and have a talk. <laughs> what about you? Beer. Or <laughs> plan b <laughs> I, I like it when my friends invite me to, to drink uh, some beers you like it when your friends invite you uh, and and drink some beers yeah that sounds good i yeah. think this you is, like this it is, this is yeah. only an example right i know i know real life it's not real life it's just an example <laughs> to have a better <laughs> comprehension yeah now I think you like it better. You like it better when your friends pay the bill. Uh, not really. It part to part. Oh, okay, 50-50, right? <laughs> yes, 50-50. Thank you, Daniel. That matches. Somebody else, give me your example. I like it when my friend invite me to make a barbecue. Oh, that sounds like a happy Sunday, right? <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. I like that one. I like that one. Thank you, Rafael. Somebody else? Express your likes. I like it when on weekends, uh, my family and I share uh, the... I don't know the meals. Yeah, yeah. When your family and I share a meal, it could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it could be, you know, um, share some time, right? When you share mm -hmm. some time together. Awesome. Thank you, Yolanda. That matches. You got it. You got it. Somebody else? Likes. We're expressing likes. Uh, in my case, mm -hmm. I like when my baby and my husband give me my time for sleep. 
Oh, nice. That's sweet. <laughs> Love is in the air. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> Somebody else? Give your example now. Expressing likes. Hey, I like it. I like it when I get paid. <laughs> Everybody. All right. I'm sorry. I needed to say that. <laughs> Give your example. Everybody says, okay. Give me your example. Come on, go ahead. Another could be, another could be, I like it when I use the credit card of my husband, not my, my credit card too much. <laughs> Okay, okay. You like it when you use your husband's credit card. Okay. Yeah, when I buy me many gifts. So All I right. think that he he bought me for me, but really I, I bought it with her credit card, with his credit card. Sorry. So it feels better, huh? Feels better. I feel better <laughs> because I feel that he was. <laughs> he was the one who invited you. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for that information. Somebody owns. An example? I have one, but I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like dance when I'm happy. It's correct. Yes, it matches. Yeah. So, but you're going to say, I like dancing, okay? I like dancing. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. I'm Mm. It does match. It does match. It qualifies. But right now, can you express something using the uh, clause at something, some, something, talking about something, right, that you really like, you really love, or something that you enjoy? I enjoy, I really enjoy when my family members give me a visit, you know, especially on weekends. Go ahead, Sophia. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You have an example for us? If not, somebody else. Hi. Go ahead. I like it, especially Friday afternoon when, when we go with my wife to, to drink a cup of coffee and arrange the uh, arrange the war and make a planning for the future. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah. all right. So you really organize everything with your wife. So that happens on Sundays, right? Uh Friday, especially Friday. Friday. Uh, especially on Fridays. Okay, cool. Especially cool. on Fridays. Yeah, it does qualify. Thank you afternoon for the info. And, uh, at afternoon or at night, too. So. All right. Awesome. With tapas and wine. <laughs> okay. With with some wine, you know, aside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to have a better, to have a better outcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you, Mauricio. Uh, Irving, do you have something for us? I like it when people are polite. Oh, me too. I like it when people are polite and professional, you know, like you guys, right? Very res res respectful and professional people. Okay, let's go with neutral. Okay, let's talk about neutral. When you don't mind it, you say, I don't mind it, which is, 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 is kind of interesting. I would like to know things that you really don't mind because lately we're running out of patience because all the stress going on. So can you tell examples like that? I don't mind it when, I don't mind it when, right? Try one example. Do we have any volunteer? What does that mean I don't mind? Was that, what is a- like, like, like you say, I don't have problem with this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For example, standing in line at the bank. The line is kind of long. Uh, that's uh, that's boring. That's, that's very, boring. Do you mind that's it? Really, 
Uh, of course, yes. Okay, so it should be something that you don't mind. Do you understand? Yeah. Uh, what can I say? Uh, say, I don't mind it. For example, I don't mind it when I am sitting, you know, on the bus, on the public transportation, and I see a woman coming. So I tell her, hey, would you like to have a seat? Okay, so I don't mind when I can, you know, help others. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Sometimes I have friends. Hey, this is a secret, okay? Sometimes I have friends that ask me for money, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't you mind don't, to of help. Course you, don't, you don't mind. Of course, I don't mind to help. I don't mind when I can help, you know? I don't mind when I can help, when I have the possibilities to do so. You understand? So I don't mind when I can help my friends. All right? I don't mind it when you invite me to a lunch, for example. All right? Can you give one example? Go ahead. I don't mind it uh, when the van is full and I have a book in my bag. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Sounds good because you have something, you know, to have fun with. <laughs> now, put it together, Yolanda. When you say mind it, say mind it. I don't mind, mind it. it. I don't mm -hmm. mind it when the bank, okay? Got Perfect. it. Thank you so much, miss. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Go I ahead. don't mind it when someone give me uh, some advice. All right. Someone give or someone give. gives? Give me. Okay. I don't some mind advice. It. Say the third person. I don't mind it when someone gives Gives, gives me. me. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Can you repeat that for the class? Okay, I don't. I don't mind it when someone gives me some ad advice. That's wonderful example. Yes, actually, that's a wonderful example. It sounds great. That means that you're open-minded, right? You're open for for feedback. You're open for advice. Right. Great, thank you for your example. That was a good one, Rafael. Somebody else? That was a good example, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't mind it when people have a bad opinion about me. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. It means that your self-esteem is exactly on its level, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't mind it when people have a you know, bad opinion or bad impression. It doesn't really affect you. Yes. That's good, Miss. That's good. Good example. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, go ahead. Somebody else? Uh, me. Teacher. Go ahead, Monica. Go ahead. I can hear you. Go ahead. I don't mind it when my neighbors uh, put the music very high. <laughs> really really <laughs> okay let's say let's say let's yeah, say play yeah. music play music yeah i don't mind it i don't mind it when my neighbors play music very low very high because the music that the, my neighbor normally play are you know uh rock from 80s so it's you know you, you like enjoy the music. I be the beginning at the same time I be singing the song. That's cool. And I don't be using my my I don't know who say equipo de sonido. Your stereo. You, you don't need to use your stereo. You just tell your I, neighbor, hey. I don't need to use it. Yeah, play the next track. Play the next track. <laughs> yeah, that the next funny. because it's very funny because. Yeah, I say, hey, put a cane. <laughs> My neighbor put a cane. That's very funny. Hey, that's good. That's good. Good for you and good for your neighbor, right? That you both like the same kind of music. <laughs> Interesting example, too. I appreciate your participation, active participation. Let's go with your examples. You own an example? Come on, go ahead. Well, in my case, 
is the opposite than Monica because sí. I mind it when my neighbor is playing the music uh, so high volume. Oh, I, I really I don't like it because the kind of music uh -huh. I would like to have an uh, a neighbor like Monica that play that kind of music, but my neighbor is the opposite. So you you need to move. Uh, you need to move. <laughs> yeah. Or, or need to make it move, make him move to another place. That's true. That's true. Each one or <laughs> yeah, each other. Okay. In, in my case, my example is not, I don't mind it. I mind it. You mind it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But is there something you don't mind, Daniel? Hate it. <laughs> um, really? Uh, I don't mind it when. I don't know how. No, hey, how, uh, do you, do you mind it? Time. Danny, do you mind it? Are you married? You have a wife, right? Yes. Do you mind it when your wife tells you, honey, can you cook breakfast this time? <laughs> I mind it because I can't. I'll try, but I can't. Oh, do that. So many all things. Right. I'm sorry. I put you on the spot. Okay. Yeah. So think about it. Think about it. Okay. Think about it. Okay. Somebody um, else? Somebody else has an example. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Okay. I don't mind it when our dogs uh, make a lot of noise when I am in class. Oh, yeah. You, you are in class online? Online? Is it now. Okay, like right now. So you don't mind you don't mind when your dogs are barking, you know, and making some noise? That's good. That's good. So just, you just play mute. You just mute your microphone, right? So we can so we cannot hear that. <laughs> All right, somebody else. Thank you, Dagoberto. Somebody else. Uh, I don't mind it when the alarm, when the alarm sound uh, sound rings. at uh, rings. Yeah, when the alarm rings at five a.m. in the morning. <laughs> you you just take your bat and and hit it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good example. So. You don't mind it when your alarm rings at 5 a.m. in the morning. When, yeah. That's good. That means that you get happy. You get happy. It's a new day, right? You get up. It's you time are to in a up. happy mood. Nah, it's time to work. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You enjoy life. You enjoy life, Mauricio. That's of good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Okay. Let's go with negative. Okay, we're gonna talk about things you don't like. How can you express that? You can say, I don't like it. I don't like it. You can say, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Do you understand that expression? Yes. No. Everybody? No. No? No. I can't. No? Correct, correct. I don't tolerate. You don't tolerate something right Repeat it can again. be food what, is, what do you say then what do you say what is the tolerance it's like a, i don't it's about I don't tolerance like it. yes it's like well, I, uh, I can like put an example about food for example um you i can't stand uh, broccoli for example but we're talking about a situation right now i can't stand it yes for example in traffic i can't stand it when people, you know, don't respect, you know, on streets. I can't stand it. I hate it. Oh, okay. I hate it. Hey, that's the other expression, by the way. I don't understand. The people uh, don't respect the street, the people. or Don't what? respect. Don't respect. Don't like, respect. Don't respect. Like, don't they know. are disrespectful. Yes? But you talk about the people who walk or I'm what? I'm talking about people who are driving, let's say. Ah, okay. Yeah. I can't yes, stand because... it when people driving are, you know, disrespectful. They go like crazy on the streets. Oh, I, I have one. I have one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. For example, I, I can't can stand it uh, when someone sleep uh on my shoulder and the bus okay okay <laughs> that's a good one 
Okay, especially if it's not your friend, right? If it's someone, if it's just a stranger. <laughs> Thank you so much, Naomi. Somebody else was saying, I don't know if it was Monica. Yeah, 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 I have, I have this is, uh, my nemesis, this I hate, I love. I can stand that when people smoke cigarettes so close to me. I hate so much because they know that it's very annoying. I don't like it. The, the people don't like it and they still do it. And for like, I don't know, for, oh my God, I, I hate, I have, a, well, I have a neighbor that he, I smoke cigarettes outside of my house. So mm. I fight with him because I have a baby. So yeah, that is the only the only thing that I really can't stand. In that example matches exactly. Yolanda was like, me too, me too, right? <laughs> I can't stand it. It's a, it when you express something like this, it's really something that disturbs you. It's really something that, you know makes you feel uncomfortable right do you have any other example thank you so much monica that was a good one yes me go ahead i can stand it when the people do not respect their turn their turn oh yeah that's true in in general right yeah yes. when you go to a store to a convenience store when you go to uh the bank right or any other situation like that thank you so much rafael yeah me too it's a little disturbing somebody else i don't like it i can't stand it i hate it i hate it when people have two faces I hate when someone eat my the food that I save in the refrigerator. Refrigerator? Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't catch it. I hate it. I hate it. Yes. Yeah, I hate it. So you hate it when people at work take your food from the refrigerator. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it happens too. Yeah. It's very, it happens. Very, yeah. I don't know say irritante. Annoying. Annoying. Yeah. A N N O Y I N G. Annoying. Yeah. Annoying. Annoying is very disturbing. Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> it's very annoying. Uh, I don't. I don't. Well, I. I can't stand it when people leave um, leftovers in the refrigerator for a long time, you know? I hate it. Give an example, give an example. Who owns an example? I don't stand it when, when my son ate my chocolate. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You would say I, you, you can't stand it. When you I use can't a stand, stand it, I yes. can't. You can't, can't stand, stand it, it when your son eats, when your son eats their person, when my son eats. When my son eats, uh -huh. it's my chocolate. <laughs> All right. Take care of those especially, chocolates. Especially when they have a mint. A mint. Oh, yeah. Chocolate mint. Those are or, the best or ones. Che or cherry mint. <laughs> I hate that. So he gets, <laughs> he gets the best, huh? He gets the yeah. best. <laughs> <laughs> Your son is next to you, Verda. He's close to you. Yeah. <laughs> In this moment. He's next to you. Yeah, He's next to you. That's why he goes like. <laughs> one, man. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Okay. Let me go ahead and share now the screen. I think we're done with this topic, guys. Try to express your likes, your neutral likes and your dislikes as well. Let me share now the screen so we can move on with the next topic. Here we go. Okay, best jobs based on personality types. We're going to watch this video and then we're going to have a small talk. Pay attention.
Welcome to Mathis in College. I'm Jamie Fitch. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? There are six basic personality types. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes. Conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be, but they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. <laughs> That's right. Ms. Alden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. So here we're going to find out a little bit more about yourselves. Could you tell what is your personality type? And can you explain why is that? So we can get to know a little bit more about you because I'm very interested to be honest with you. I, I know that I have many professionals around me right now. So I'm very honored to be honest with you. So somebody wants to start, go ahead. Volunteers. Uh, in my case, teacher, go ahead. I, I think I am conventional because I love numbers. I am very an analytical person. 
Mm -hmm. And I am an accountant. I think this is my personality. Definitely, definitely. Uh, was it difficult for you uh, when you when you were um, you know taking the decision about your major at the university? You know, no. No, uh, in a school I studied. Uh, I don't know a uh, um, accountability. Uh, I, uh, I bachillerato. High school. I don't know what. High school, uh huh, and then at the university, oh, the I studied. High school. Yes, I studied. Uh, I don't account oh. public accounting. That's right. So you already liked it uh, since you were studying at high school. So it was not really difficult for you to take the decision. No, that's good, Yolanda. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Somebody else. Should I call out people? Let me see. Sophia, tell us about you. What is your personality type and why is that? Mm, maybe creative. Creative. Ah, uh, creative. You're creative? Creativity? Yes. What do you do? What's your job? A quantum. <laughs> oh, your colleagues. You and Yolanda are <laughs> colleagues. Huh? You're both accountants. No. Huh? <laughs> well, she said she just said she's an accountant. So you are an accountant too, Sofia? Yes. That's good. That's good. How do you like it? Mm, more or less. More or less. Okay, okay, let me stop it right there. No more details. <laughs> Let's go here with somebody else. Let me see. Dagoberto, what about you? What is your personality? My, type? my career teacher. Really? Oh, okay. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes that happens. Do you have any other, um, you know, maybe talent or skill you maybe want to try? Maybe teaching, maybe. He likes to know, paint. Painter. Painter. Mm -hmm. She's an artistic person. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, nice. Painting, do you like painting? Yes, I'm painting. So your, your classmates know you very well, huh? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me go with Dagoberto. Tell us about you. I think that the, we having a unique personality uh, we can to be some social some uh, conventional uh, yeah. i don't remember the others uh, personalities but uh, in my case i think that i'm i'm some social social um, i'm a teacher mm. uh, i'm uh, uh, I think that I like to work with uh, other persons to help her help them to to learn uh, different abilities. Uh, okay, I think that I'm more social. I understand. I understand. At the beginning, uh, you express something saying uh, we can to be. You say you say we can be. Yeah, I understand your your idea. You said that everyone, the Roberto said that everyone can be or can have, you know, uh, many of these uh, personality types. And that's true. And that's true. At the end, uh, you told us that you're a teacher, so you fit on the social uh, personality type, right? Thank you, Dagoberto. I'm glad to hear you're a teacher. So you're my colleague. You're my colleague, exactly. okay? Exactly. Great Teachers colleague. too, accountants too. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. All right. Let's see. Mauricio, tell us about you. Well, I think I am, I like to do my personality is an enterprise. Enterprising. Uh -huh. Yes, right. I, I think I like to, to be independent and um, 
uh, to take a risk. Uh, I feel, I like to feel that adrenal, uh, ad adrenaline. Uh, adrenaline, adrenaline to, to stress, to, to uh, begin a, 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 some business or- To, to start like, a new business. Start, uh -huh, so I'm like, yeah, I like that. It's, I, I enjoy it. That, that sounds like, uh, like you like challenges. You like to climb mountains. Yeah, I, I like, uh -huh. I like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you're a leader. You're a leader, practically. That's good. I'm glad to hear that, Mauricio. Great. Let's go with Irvin. Tell us about you, Mr. Delsip. Well, I think I am investigative and social. I like everything about science and technology. So my career is a computer network and I like uh, to keep uh, studying and learning and to be upgrade uh, about the technologies that are coming. Oh, talking about the social networkings? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds interesting. That sounds very interesting. So yeah. you are going to see that before then the rest of the people. That's cool. <laughs> Inves investigative, investigative and social. Yes. Good to know. D is it was it difficult for you to get into that field to take the decision to get into that field? Um, no, it wasn't uh, because um, uh, from childhood I always liked it. I always liked computers, technology, television, everything. When it comes to speak about technology, you look pretty young. How old are you, Irvin? Can I ask that? Twenty-seven. 27. Excellent. Yeah, you're part of the new generations that they started learning English, you know, from from uh, childhood, right? And technology, they uh, are very familiarized with technology, uh, something that our generation didn't really experience. So yes. I'm very glad you're very knowledgeable, sir. Feel proud of yourself. You. Give, give, a, give a pat on your back, okay? <laughs> thank you you've been as millennium generation yes or that's x true. or a uh -huh, millennium generation that's the new generation right there uh -huh. all right let's see with uh daniel what about you daniel i i think that i am a conventional conventional uh, type yes because i'm just finishing at this moment uh, an engineering career I'm still pending to to keep the the final. I don't know how I can say the title. The title. I'm in the process. The, the title. I don't oh, know the how. The title. The title. The title. The title. I'm just finishing that process, but I'm still uh, a high school because oh, all right. it's, it still is missing that that for me that I think that I'm a conventional. That's great, that's great, great to hear. Well, this way I get to know you better, guys. I get to know you better, you know, it's the first module that I'm with you and and um, it's really interesting to me, to be honest. Let me hear Noemi Jesenia, go ahead. Hello? Are you there, Noemi? Okay, um, let's go with Elvis. Abrego? Yes. Tell us um, about you. Uh, I'm a friendly person because I try to tell when in my job, I try, I try to <clears throat> talk with other person you try to help um, other people? Yes. Yes, I try to talk with other persons. For example, in my job is a, I don't know, maquila. A and textile. When textile, when go take my lunch, I try to talk with the other person. 
Okay, so what you're saying is that at your job, you like to talk with your with your coworkers. You are very yes. social. You like socializing. Yes. So yes. you have the social personality type, okay? Yes. Because, uh, it's true. It's true. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Elvis. Let's finish up with Jesenia. I think she can hear us now. Can you hear, Jesenia? Hello, Noemi, are you there? Oh, you have a problem. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry about that. All right, so pretty much this is uh, what we talk about today, your personality types and also um, or expressions with uh, the it clause and the when clause. How do you feel? How do you feel uh, with today's class? Are you understanding? How are you feeling? You feel sleepy, Sophia? What are you doing? Tell us. Uh, Conclusion, uh, Sophia, go ahead. Hi, uh, I don't know, teach. You don't know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a conclusion. Do you use this language on a daily basis? You know, it's no. easy to say, I like chocolate, I like this, I, I like that. that. But yeah. you are expressing yeah. likes with clauses. You are advanced. So you are using it. You're using when you are being more um, informative. Yes, teacher, I use that for speak. <laughs> How do you feel, Jolanda? What's your impression but about I never use, class? I don't mind. I never use. No, oh, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Yes, I it's true. Okay. I say other expressions. You use other expressions. Now you know these ways, right, of expressing uh, likes and dislikes. Uh, something that is neutral, right? Something that is neutral, like I don't mind it, and something that is negative, like I don't like it. I don't like it when, yeah, or I can't stand it when. How do you feel about this vocabulary, Irvin? Give us a conclusion. I think it's very good because um, you uh, can add some other uh, words, some other phrases to your vocabulary, and you have the opportunity to improve your um, speaking, the way you speak, the way to improve your English. And people will see, hey, this guy is learning. This guy is improving. This guy, yeah. Expressing likes dislikes like this right tells people that you are studying that you are an english learner so express your likes and dislikes using these ways guys it was really really interesting i want to thank you actually for making the class interesting as you know the main characters is you the main characters are the students, are the participants, and you have to have active listening, active participation. I thank you for participating. I thank you for being active. I thank you for improving your English. I see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Good night, thank everyone. You. Good night. See, see you, you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.